Hey, how you guys doing? How's everything going? Let's do it to it. Let's get warmed up. I wasn't sure about that one. Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> okay, gotta take here first, then take there. Um, oh boy, 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 boy. Let me see here. I'm trying to figure this one out. Um, Here, there, maybe something like that, but I doubt that because and there was one here that was an interesting one. Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, take the oops, not take there. Uh, sorry, take here and. Oh, I see. It's this. Ah, oh, drat. I should have seen that. That's that's a straightforward one. Just block there and takes. We'll try one more. And then we'll get started on our other one. There we go. Uh, let me see here. Got a block here. Oops. Nope. That was my bad. Uh, check there, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll check there. Um, check mate there. Uh, okay, check me here. Um, wins a piece there. Okay, dokey. <coughs> Let's see here. Uh, hmm. Oops, trapped a piece there. Uh, 
wins it. Knight comes in. Um, okay, Doki. Um, I think Bishop here potent. Nope. So so that's not it, huh? Interesting. What did I? Let's see here. There, there, no. Oh yeah, this is me. Sorry, I should have seen that. That's a straightforward mate. Check. That's mate. You gotta catch up on this here. That wins a queen. Um. Let's see here. Takes, takes. Trying to figure this one out. Yeah, this here. That wins peace. Um, so bishop takes there. Queen takes. Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Um. What am I missing here? There's something I'm missing here. Who oh, is it? Can't be uh, takes here, can it? Maybe. Oh, it is that. Interesting. Just move the king. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, we'll try um, one more after we uh, find these puzzles. We'll just do one more. I'm going to find out what did I... Okay, so that's... Oh, snap, that would have been perfect there. Should have seen that. I was hoping to get a mate on there, but then I should have just moved in there. Yeah, I got to look for those... Uh, interesting moves to say the least oops yep that that wins the material there okay just got to be on the lookout don't let the time get to you that wins a piece there <clears throat> and then you actually just win the pawn there okay let's try one 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 more and then then we'll get started Get off on a good foot in here.
Oh, got it. Uh, don't know what I was thinking there. Um, okay, so here. That's that's good. All right, here, here. Oops. Let's see if we can uh, get back here. Trying to figure this one out. Let's see here. Let's see. Maybe if I dislodge it now. <clears throat> hmm. That's okay. We'll call it on that. That one was, uh, this one was a little interesting. Because. I was thinking taking there, but I don't think that was right. It wasn't there, was it? Hmm. That's peculiar. Oh, it's dry. Should see this. Wow, you gotta remember to uh, do the attack the piece. Okay. <clears throat> we did good. We got 17. You'll get quicker the more you uh, uh, do it. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Okay, let's do our um, drills now, our uh, puzzle rush. Survival. Let's see how we do. So if I play here, Trying to see his king e7 uh, idea. Or bishop f5. Yeah, the only problem with uh, here is that he's double attacking at that point. So I'm wondering if just king there guards the pawn and everything. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Let's check here and then set up for mate. <coughs> This is checkmate. Uh, takes that there, wins a piece. Let me see here. You take here, you win a piece. Here, and then we set up for mate. Uh, okay, there, rook 
intercepts, and then bishop. I think we win a piece in that line. Queen takes f6, takes. Are we up material? I think so. So let's go for it. Let's just take it there. We take here, he'll take there, so we don't really get anything for that. Well, we could take here, ah, yeah, that's it, take here, and then we'll take with the queen. Yep, that works. So if we play there, there's really no way he'd have to play here there and there's not enough time to stop us. Let's, let's uh, push the pawn. Push the pawn and then the queen. We stop, we stop it just in the nick of time. We take the queen and rook takes and then we grab the bishop. So let's do that. If we take with the rook, he actually back rank mates us, so we can't do that. If we take here, the king takes and then he runs. But if we come here, we win the queen. So let's do that. Knight check there. Threatens mate. It's a. It's a. Just just in one move we needed. <coughs> if we push. He has to take, so let's do that. And then we push again, and he, then we he t we take, and we're up a whole piece. This actually picks up a whole rook. Surprisingly, that's a really strong move. You would think to win the knight would be strong, but that's actually stronger than one we just did. See, if we play knight to um, knight to h4, we're threatening mate, and we're also threatening the knight coming in here with another set of different mates to boot. So we have to. Um, Think about, <clears throat> is there really anything that our opponent can do? Not really, so let's go for it. Now we have a check here, and then we mate. See, if we take queen takes knight takes, then we check and we can come back. So let's do that. If we play bishop takes, pawn takes, we mate, so let's do that. Okay, if we take here, the bishop takes, then we take, then the bishop takes, and then we can actually take, and I think we've won a piece in that line. Yeah, let's go for it. And then we take.
thinking about bishop uh, c5. Rook would have to, uh, well, pawn d4, bishop takes d4. Rook f2. King takes, um, bishop takes f2, king takes f2, and then e5. That does pick up a piece. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the best line. Oh, that was kind of an interesting continuation. So then we just take with the queen, and we set up for a mate, I think, in three. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, mate three. So if we play uh, rook takes c1, king e2. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Could uh, could do the knight move. Yeah, I'm thinking takes here and then the knight goes to c3. I think knight c3, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, checkmate. I'm thinking queen a5, he goes to a3, bishop takes, <coughs> bishop takes, uh, c3 check, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, queen takes c3, and knight takes uh, c4, or c3. Because I really don't see anything better than queen a5 at the present moment. There's really no uh, weaknesses in the camp. Queen a5 looks actually the, the most forcing continuation. Yeah, I'm gonna go with queen a5. That's all I can really see. I hope that's right. Perfect. Now we take here. Queen takes, knight takes, there we go. I couldn't see any other uh, continuation that was any better. Okay, we're gonna check with the rook. Hold on, let me make sure. Um, Hold on, let me uh, make sure I have this check here, here, bishop check. The king uh, is actually made it at that point. Yep, check there, and this is checkmate. The other way wasn't mate. <clears throat> the knight was protected by the bishop, and we couldn't win the knight. Okay, dokey. Let us see what we got here. We do got a check, which would be a uh, interesting continuation. And the king would have to come to uh, either a7 or b8 with the knight just come plopping itself in threatening mate which then the queen would have to exchange so let's set that up <clears throat> now the only move is queen c6 I mean knight c6 and 
we win a queen. <coughs> okay, if we played um, d7, you have uh, bishop e7 uh, there, which stops everything. So, how to proceed here? How to proceed? Well, I'm thinking that potentially we could try f5 if he plays g5. <clears throat> then we now have the potential here to see f5, g5, <clears throat> d7, bishop um, e7, then we play f6, uh, bishop goes to d8 to stop, then we play e6, and we have just storm him on the king side. I'm thinking that this is the only move that allows us to get counterplay. Then we take, and we're good to go now. <clears throat> I'm thinking, let me see here only move that makes sense that well would that actually no that would let him out of the out of the box yeah that would let him out of the box we don't want to let him out of the box uh, because then the rook would take and we would take the king would go to g2 at that point and he'd basically be safe uh, okay, we have to now consider how do we mate the king? Checkmate the king. The queen guards h2. Oh wait a second. Knight knight g knight to g four actually is winning. What am I thinking? This is funny. Knight g four if rook takes rook check. There's no way to stop the mate at that point, so it's this right here. <clears throat> okay, so now um Now we actually threaten, we force mate with queen f3 here. Rook comes up and it's mate. He walked into a forest mate. Or, I mean, our opponent did. Queen check. If bishop, knight takes. Is a threat of mate. But also, it's a little too slow because the queen can come in and cause us to have some chaos and a, and a counterplay. <clears throat> so we potentially could play check here, bishop there, and actually take with the queen. Knight, queen takes, knight takes. We're up material. So maybe that is a playable idea that we can potentially go down in that line. Well, you'd have to take a look. I'm thinking that that's not a uh, bad plan at the present moment. We can't take because of all the checks that could arise here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Queen A one check. Now we take with the Queen. Now he takes, we're up a whole piece. 
<clears throat> okay. I'm looking at King A8 here. There's one check that the queen can do. Queen to E4. We can actually block at that point. And really there's nothing that um, black can do at that moment. We could try King C8. See King C eight. He could check here that if we try blocking here. He can come in and check there. If we try coming over here, he checks and then, yeah, I don't really like that. I'm thinking that this cuts out on every check because then there's only one check that could be played uh, e4 and then queen to uh, d5 stops every single check and the threat still in the air. That's still covered, that's still covered. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to take here. If king takes, then I, we win a rook. Actually, if king takes, we could actually bring the other rook over to... If he takes there, this other rook could slide over. Then he has to come, and then he has to actually come that way, check. He has to come up, and basically we can start mating that. Yeah, I like this move. Now we win the queen. We can actually play B2 in this line. Queen Bishop takes B2. Rook takes B2. H7. <clears throat> uh, queens. Queens. And then Rook to... Um, B3, and I think that wins a queen over in the corner on H8. So here, here, there, push, queens, queens, and then rook here, which allows a discovery on the queen on H8. I'm thinking that that's really the only move. Rook takes, uh, Rotates G2. How is that a better move? That king could take. I'm just at, I don't mean, I was just asking. And you don't have the idea of B3, B2 anymore. I think it's losing if, if we actually, uh, if we actually take here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I got you after that. I see. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yep. Yeah. First, we got to play that. Rook takes. Yep, I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 
I gotcha. I'm thinking rook h7 in this line. Bishop comes to g8, I mean g7. We queen, bishop takes, and then we grab the pawn. We're up, uh, I think that's enough compensation for black to win. It'd be a tougher end game, but I think that's our best continuation because I don't really see anything good after rook c2. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. King H7. I'm thinking D6 is winning here. D6, uh, bishop takes, pawn takes, king over, and then king to F6. He has to give way, and then we come in. Yeah. Uh, knight C6 check. King has really two spots to go to. If he goes there, check. King up here. We promote and King takes our knight. But we still get a queen. So we're winning. So I'm thinking it's knight c6 first. Check. But this is right. That was good. Okay, we're doing good so far. So good. Bishop takes um, c6 but that doesn't actually work because rook takes c6 so that's a flop we don't want to do that
between a check if king uh, c7 queen takes a5 check bishop b6 I see what you're saying, yeah. I see what you're saying. This first. Knight to, uh, knight to be, uh, five. Pawn, uh, takes B5. Queen takes and that would be mate, so let's go for it. Let's see what you're saying. Great, great job on that. Nice job. <clears throat> okay. Check here, king there, rook takes, pawn takes, and then that's mate. Let's do it. Holy ravioli. Right. I missed something there. Let me take a look at that. Queen G7 first? Okay. Yeah, I think you were right on that. Queen G7. And then, um, uh, we could do that. Yeah. Drat. Drat, drat, drat. <coughs> nah. So close there. We're going to get this. We just got to stay focused, not uh, do silly things, but stay focused. I'm thinking knight g4 is the move here. Oh! Is it root takes? Oh no. Don't tell me night G you're kidding me, night G four. Okay, rook oh rook takes Queen takes but okay. Uh Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Got to not let that happen. Let's see here. Um, let's work this out. King e1 there. Okay, here. King one. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was my problem. Yep. So E7 there, D. Well, maybe I think it's this here. If it comes there. Yeah, we gotta go G6 at this point. Up we go. H5. Good. We got 40 there. Uh, let's uh, let's stay focused on this. Thinking. I'm thinking Bishop uh, F3 here, but Knight F. Uh, I think Bishop F3. I think it's Bishop F3. Oops. Um, knight uh, F2 check. Uh, rook uh, takes F2. Bishop takes F3. Or maybe it's Bishop. Uh, F3, uh, knight F2, retakes F2. No, that wouldn't work. That still. Um, bishop takes F3, retakes F3. I think this is, I'm not sure if that's not the move or not. I'm not sure. Huh. <clears throat> But maybe, maybe there's even a better, no. I was thinking uh, rook d2, but then knight f2 shows up and wins the rook. It'd be a fork at that point. I believe that uh, wins a piece on the spot, rook f, um, f2. We bishop f3, not rook f2, bishop f3. That wins a piece. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm... It, I think I think he would get a smother made in that line. He'd smother made us if we did that. I think that's a smother uh, mate. If we play knight f3 here, knight takes there. If we come here, knight there, back, uh, queen comes in, rook to, and then the knight comes. He would actually give us a smother mate in that line. We would be smother mated.
I was thinking about um, um, bishop f3 if uh, bishop takes e5 Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I still think we're okay. I think bishop uh, bishop f3 still is all right. I'm still thinking bishop f3. Yeah. Thinking bishop f3. Um, bishop takes e5. Bishop takes uh, e5. Oh, sorry, uh, f takes uh, e5. Queen takes, oops, not bishop. Queen takes e5. Uh, bishop takes e4. Bishop takes e4. Uh, queen takes e4. And then queen takes e4. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I got all those lines right. There's a whole bunch of taking. Bishop f3. Uh, bishop takes e5. Pawn f takes e5. Queen takes e5. Bishop takes e4. Bishop takes e4. Queen takes e4. Queen takes e4, knight takes e4, and we're up a whole piece. Yeah, I'm thinking that this has to be... Oh, you are serious. No? Huh. Maybe that was right. Maybe the... Let's, let's go over these lines here. I... So check. Queen check here. And then there, yep. I'll have to remember that one. Knight here. Takes, queen takes, takes, and then knight takes. Wrong combination, okay. Let's check that knight move out now. Yeah. So that that's the uh, idea of tacking the piece 
and then um, knight takes so attack the piece knight takes okay so let's take a look at this here let's take a look at this puzzle let's see if the, there's any other defensive uh, setups there's uh, knight f3 and knight f2 Root takes f2, queen takes f2. Knight d1. And the queen is trapped. The queen is actually trapped at that point. Queen d4, uh, knight takes d4. Bishop takes d4 and the game could potentially still continue on, but who this it'd be a, a not fun to play for black. There's still enough pressure, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd like to play black there, black here. I think it's still playable. because you have two rooks it's still playable so don't think that your opponent would resign in this line because he still has three minor pieces you have three minor pieces he has a rook two rooks yes oops not that's not what I want I need to delete that move um, he you do have an extra rook in the corner so that's your that that's your uh, only uh, kind of trump at this moment. We do have a queen too. So, but you have an extra rook. That's that's the thing that you're going to have to basically um as Alakai and those guys would say, you have to slowly work that advantage uh into your uh onto your side. Because when you're facing tigers, they may be down a queen or a knight or stuff like that. They're not going to give up. So you have to prove it to them that uh, you're winning. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Do you have any questions on the puzzles before I log off? wanted to uh, thank you for logging on and uh, participating and you know what we did uh, we did a lot today it was interesting some of those um, I missed the exchanges so I have to be on the lookout I, I tried to grab the knight on one of them before I did the proper exchanges so it tells us that exchanges exchanging properly in tactical lines are important so always be on the lookout if you set up a tactic uh, make sure that you exchange the right pieces because it may hurt you in the end game uh, through an imbalance uh, like Jeremy Silman talked about the how to reassess your chess fourth edition he, had, he talks about the imbalances if you have a closed end game you of course want a knight we know that but if you have more of an open end, open end game where there's pawns on both sides of the board, you're going to want to have a bishop. Bishops are really good when you, there's a race of pawns on, on either side. Bishops can control, uh, with one move, they can control the whole entire, not all the board, but a humongous amount of the board through their uh, sniping power, as I like to call them. But if pawns, uh, just a little bit of a end game uh, uh, stuff is, if pawns are basically on one side of the board, a knight will outmaneuver a bishop. Surprisingly, that sounds like what? If there's not pawns on both sides of the board, um, the knight's actually a stronger piece when they're on like the, either the king side or the queen side in an end game. You can win a game. I've seen it. it it's 
I've seen games that the uh, person player was down one pawn, but they had a knight and the pawns were on one side, and they actually uh, drew that, that game because the knight is more superior in that type of a position. So it's good to learn your end games. I guess I just wanted to give you a little bit of end game because I love the end game um, knowledge. Is uh, just keep that in mind. And all, always there's the Lucinda position. You gotta learn that. That's a pretty cool uh, end game. It's an uh, older position uh, position to set up, but it's fun to always play out. Well, you know what? It comes down to choices. And the choice to uh, receive the Lord Jesus, Lord and Savior, is vital. We all have to do it one day. We gotta make that decision. What do we do with the Lord Jesus? And so I pray that you receive Him as Lord and Savior. What we have to do, though, is also remember what Bruce Lee said, that take what you know and be able to apply it. Be willing to do something with it. And we will get there. We're still we're in the 40s. We got to 40, so we're not um, in the 30s anymore. We just have to... <clears throat> I'm just going to have to check for my blunder check and make sure that I'm not blundering anything or missing a forcing line. So it's not that those lines weren't good. They just weren't the best lines. Okay, so it's not like your lines aren't good. It's just you want to have the best continuation. And plateaus are, are part of life. We shouldn't desire to stay in the plateau. We should always strive to uh, proceed past that plateau and learn new things in chess and improve and maybe pick up a new tactic that we have, hadn't seen before that we can apply over our games. But you know what? And the only way that you can implement that is through Team Chess Cruncher motto of hanging up your coats, hanging up your hat, sitting down and studying when most won't. Team Chess Cruncher does, and that makes all the difference. And as Wesley so says, serve the Lord Jesus, as I say, God bless. And I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening. And Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll keep pushing forward. Remember what Hannibal Smith said, even inside of a random position, there's always a plan. And when we find it, we get to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, two thumbs up. Hoorah, be blessed. I pray that you receive Lord Jesus, Lord and Savior. And if you're thinking about it, keep thinking about it. Don't put it off. Okay, be blessed, and I will see you tomorrow. Have fun playing chess and studying the Team Chess Cruncher way. Go Team Chess Cruncher. Be blessed. Bye-bye, Team Chess Cruncher.